What's up guys, it's Nick and on today's video I'm going to be showing you how to create custom hot sheet lists in KV Core by utilizing the filter feature. I'm also then going to show you how to take those lists and to send customized email marketing scheduled out in advance using KV Core's mass emailing feature. It's very similar to what you guys may do with a newsletter you know, using something like MailChimp or Constant Contact, but you actually have the capability to do it right in KV Core. So I'm really looking forward to showing you guys around. As always, if you like this content, like this video, give it a big thumbs up and make sure to drop a comment if you uh, really liked it and give me some feedback and also subscribe to my channel for more content just like this. So without further ado, let's get started. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to schedule a mass email to go out to your database through KV Core. And I'm going to be showing you also how to create the filter that is essentially um, your database list to make it very easy to send these types of emails. All right, so we're going to talk about both how to create the filter and how to actually schedule these emails to be sent. So this is the final product. This is where you want to be. This is how you want to, uh, you know, send out videos or, or holiday campaigns, as we mentioned earlier, or, you know, templates around um, maybe a new listing that you have or just anything that you want to put out there, like a video I shot, I got interviewed um, talking about Charlotte real estate market and uh, had a video that I put on YouTube that I have linked here. So this may be something that I want to send out to my sphere and have them watch on YouTube, right? And so how do you create the filter for all of your leads in your database and how do you actually schedule it to send? So let's go all the way back. We're going to go over to CRM and, uh, so again, we're on this left-hand side here, this smart CRM page, and we're gonna go to, uh, not to add contact rather, but we're gonna go to filter, which is right above the add contact button. So you can see it right here, it says filter. We're gonna click on filter here, and what you're gonna see is that this filter, okay, these filters allow you to save essentially like what I call hot sheets. These are hot sheet lists that are essentially just a sorted, um, assortment of leads from your database based on certain criteria and you can set those criteria so for example I think it's very beneficial so that you can do something like send to all of your leads all at once very easily you should have one list that is essentially like I just mentioned all leads so what you do is you just select all of these different um, categories for uh, stages you know this is basically saying, or rather status. These are select all of these statuses for sphere, prospect, new lead, active lead, client, contract closed, and select them all. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna go down to the bottom and you're gonna save this filter here, okay? And what, why you wanna do save filter instead of apply filter is because applying it will show and reflect your all your leads, but saving it will allow you to actually create a new list here Okay, which you can then save again as all leads or, or something like, you know, entire database. Um, okay, and that is going to allow you to save that filter. And when you hit save, that is going to pop up right here forever as a hot sheet here as a saved filter. So like, you know, I have agents only list, all leads, Charlotte leads, you know, uh, leads from specific uh, lead sources, sphere only, sphere only list is helpful too. So essentially, you know, you can create um, a, a specific hot sheet based on these criteria. So for example, you know, if I only wanted to do a closed past client list, I would just select closed and then I would go and, um, and sorry, I would go and save the filter and this would be past clients, right? And it's only going to pull up the leads that are closed. So let's just see the ones that I've labeled closed. Um, we'll go and save uh, past client list. <clears throat> let's see if I've labeled them correctly. So I got 10 in here that I've put as closed um, and I need to add everybody actually in here. But you can see here that, uh, that it, it's only giving me the ones that are closed, right? And so for example, now when I go to save filter, it's if I went to <clears throat> past client list, I can always pull that back up, right? 
So that, that'll be applied there. Okay, so what if I wanted to do one that was sphere only, right? Like I mentioned, so I've uh, created that one as well. I could create sphere only. And now it's only going to show me uh, leads that are in labeled sphere. So I have sphere leads as well. So again, this is a way to easily create these filters in, in KV Core under the Smart CRM tab. You can go and again, assign different things based on even location or based on whether they're a buyer or a seller. So you may do a buyer list and a seller list separately, right? So save one as just buyer only. And you want to select, uh, you know, all of these different options as buyer, you know, right? So you go click all these and now you have a buyer list. <clears throat> You're going to click all of them again and unclick buyer and then save one as a seller list. And so you have one of those, maybe do a renter list, stuff like that. Okay. Um, you can sort them by hashtag. So if you've used a specific tag, you know, for like an event or something that people registered for, you can uh, specifically search for a specific hashtag and save a list, a hot sheet filter to do that, all right? So these filters have a lot of uses. They're very, very helpful. Um, but how we're gonna use this now to create something that looks like this is we're gonna go over on this left-hand side to Marketing Autopilot. We're gonna click over to Marketing Autopilot here, and we're gonna go over to Schedule Mass Email, and this is where we are gonna go Schedule an Email, okay? And we're going to click on this green button to schedule email here, just like we did right here. All right. So again, we are clicking on marketing autopilot. I'll bring it right back. Marketing autopilot, schedule mass email, schedule an email. Okay. And once you've clicked on schedule an email, again, that green button, schedule email, it's going to take you to this tab right here. And again, you can watch the previous video that I shot on how to create these templates um, with, you know, where you click and drag and you, you can edit the, uh, the URLs to add the photos, change the background color, right, of even like the background and stuff like that. You can go watch those videos and, uh, and learn how to create nice looking emails like this. OK, um, so go out and do that. But what is important is that you can select from your templates if you have created something. Okay, so let's say you, you it was blank. You could actually go and select the template, excuse me, and uh, it will actually pull up this list here of like different templates that you have here. So like I'll give you an example. If I just typed in holiday, okay, I did uh, a couple holiday posts. Uh, let's just do this. Let's click one that I did. So you can click, uh, click on the holiday post and then you can see here that it's got a template created for, you know, Happy New Year. Check it out. Visit my website, blah, blah, blah. And so now you can select from your list of templates that you've created. Like I said, go watch that previous video and you can see those in there. OK, and so once you have that in there, then again, it's, it's going to ask you, who am I sending this email to and when? All right. So, again, let's say this is a New Year post. All right. So I would have wanted to send that. Let's say this, let's just pretend it's 2022, right? I could actually go all the way to the very end of the year um, and I can go and click on, you know, January 1st, 2022, boom. And I can have it set to send way in advance. And let's say I'm gonna let people sleep in because they're probably gonna be up all night and having a good time celebrating. So let's send this at 9 a.m. Um, on uh, January January 1st, we're going to send it at 9 a.m. And now again, it's who am I sending this to? Okay. And this is why you want to have the filter saved because it only gives you three options to send it from filter, hashtag, or to status. But if you click status, it's only going to allow you to choose three at most. You can't, you can't select them all. Okay. So it's only going to give you three. So the best way to do it is save the filter first save an all leads uh, filter of your database. If you want to send it to everybody, maybe you don't want to send it to the new leads. Maybe you only want to send it to your sphere. Well, go set, go create a sphere leads only filter so that it, it only gives you um, the people that are labeled as sphere. Maybe that's the only people you want it sent to. But personally, I would probably want to send it to all leads. And that's generally what I do. So have, you know, the filter saved for who you want to send it to, and then it will just send to everybody in that list. And so if that's everybody, that will be everybody. And that's the best way to
do it. So this is a, a tutorial. This has been a tutorial on how to create these filters and how to set these uh, mass emails. Again, if you want to watch that video, go check it out on my channel um, on how to actually create and format these templates and create the, you know, using the advanced editor, essentially how to create um, nice looking email templates in KV core. And as always, if you guys uh, have comments or feedback, please leave it in uh, the comment section of this video right here on YouTube. I love uh, seeing the feedback. You guys always give me some great uh, you know, feedback or ask some great questions and I'll be happy to answer them. And of course, if you have a topic or you know, some, something in KV Core you'd like me to cover, mention that as well and I'd be happy to make a video. So with that, I will see you guys on the next video. What's up guys, it's Nick. Thanks for checking out my channel. If you like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button because I post so much content on how to dominate the competition digitally. So if you're a real estate agent, an entrepreneur, or a business owner who wants to have better marketing, shoot better videos, and create more sales, make sure to hit that subscribe button. You can connect with me everywhere on social media at Real Nick McCree. And as always, I want you guys to take the value that you learned in this video and implement it into your business right away. So that's all I got to say. Again, thanks for checking out this video and I'll see you guys on the next video. See ya.